You're watching Explore Tulsa. I think that's what is pretty critical in this industry, is how do you put people first. We feel like, you know, the industry itself lends itself to special skills, you know, teaches how to read people, how to interact with people. But I think more important the thing that we take the greatest pride, they, they're all servants. They put people first. And I think that's what is pretty critical in this industry, is how do you put people first. When I came back from the service, I started with Pizza Hut in Moore, Oklahoma. And uh, my boss uh, moved on, but I moved up the ladder pretty fast. I ended up in Tulsa when I was 22. I had 10 Pizza Huts at that age, and then just worked and developed those stores. And then, oh, it was 1977, 78, we started a place called La Cafe. Uh, my roommates, my existing partner contacted me, wanted to know if we wanted to get back in the restaurant business. So we became partners with him and his family and bought La Cafe, excuse me, bought Cafe Ole. And so we did uh, Cafe Ole uh, since uh, 2013 and then we've done that up till a year ago. We opened Ovine Restaurant on February the 16th of last year, 2017. And so we're, here we are about a year, a few months after that. He and I have stayed in contact throughout the years and when he uh, opened Cafe Ole, we, we talked. He, then when he opened the Old Vine, we also had a discussion and just decided to make the move out here. She's been in the business a long time, obviously. She's been uh, general manager at other operations. You know, her, between her and her husband, they're very family oriented. And I think that's the kind of place that uh, maybe more families are looking for. They're just hard to find. When you balance professional life, especially this industry, because it does take a lot of your time but it, you still have to raise your kids right. He is very kind of like a father figure. I've known him since I was 18, so he's, uh, we started working together in 1993, so we've known each other for a long time. My philosophy is basically we have working managers and try we try to stay involved at every level. And so, you know, obviously the focus starts at the door with our customers, and we follow them all the way through, trying to facilitate a great business. A lot of Brookside community, so uh, Midtown, and just a lot of regulars come in every week, Sunday after church, and just you know we we have a great patio seating, so we have a lot of as it's, as it's getting nicer out, we have a lot of patio diners. We realize really quick, even those with formal training are not necessarily great cooks. You know, some of the best cooks we've ever experienced have been those that are passionate about their food. They do it at home they experiment at home and they live it. So she's done the tuna tartare, she's done the uh, bruschetta, she's couscous. I mean, there's just dozens of dishes that are all spectacular. And we have the wine flights also. I'd have to say that our pizza that we sell here at Old Vine is some of the best in town. It's, it's thin, it's, you know, it's the old style, but it's really fresh, it's very good crust. Zach, our bartender, uh, he does a lot of the mixology and brings in other drinks and just creates. We've got a, a pear infused bourbon right now that's really good. So it's very smooth. I'm not a bourbon drinker, but it's very smooth. So Leslie developed, that's my wife's name. She developed her own skill set over time. And uh, she's very meticulous in how she cooks and bakes. And uh, some people just have what I call it and she has it, so we host at our house uh, most of the holiday meals, and we'll serve anywhere from 25 up to 38 people at Christmas or Thanksgiving, and uh, she pulls it all together. Well, I think, you know, food is magic for families. I think magic happens over food. As kids grow up, you know, it's kind of hard to get them to open up, but over food, over a period of time, they kind of let the guard down, and, and you can discuss whether it's politics, religion, or whatever's going on in their life but we feel the food table is pretty important. We've got to be at the point where we have a big dining room. Our dining room's over 500 something square foot. It's a feast, we celebrate food. We celebrate family. <laughs>